Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. So if you missed the blast airdrop, which was great, was big and you see, I have good news for you because that is not over. That was just the first season. I'm gonna show you in this video how to qualify for a blast related upcoming airdrop. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you my browser and we're going to be first, I'm going to want to show you how big was the blast airdrop, how, what can we expect from this upcoming one? And uh, again, how to qualify for the upcoming one, because blast has um, uploaded to a galaxy uh, page, how to fulfill the tasks that will lead you hopefully soon to a good airdrop. So um, I'm going to show you my browser now and we will follow you along. As usual. So first, this is how much money did Blast uh, grant to people who uh, you know push and look for that airdrop? Well, it was around 1.1 billion dollars. So that is a ton of money, guys. Now there was a number, a big number of people trying to get this, and a lot of people might have think that was it, but um, and not many people know about this other one or the other option. So I'm going to show you the Galaxy page, and uh, we will see what's required. As usual, guys, I'm going to place the link to this page on the description of this video, so can, you can just click on it and get straight because finding things on Galaxy is kind of messy. So this is their page. It's called Blast Score and they are related to Blast. And um, it's it's quite easy what we have to do, at least so far. Sometimes, you, if you remember well, guys, like Aptos, they will release a quest, which is a group of tasks like the one you're seeing here. And some days later, uh, maybe a couple of weeks later, they will release another set of tasks grouped in another quest. So I will keep you updated. That's why you need to subscribe to Startup Central because as soon as I learn of another quest coming in, I will let you know, guys, so we don't miss this second season of this airdrop. So first things first, what you need to do is click here uh, to follow at last core on Twitter, then like that tweet. And uh, the next thing, I'm not going not gonna to click on them because that's pretty easy. And you, you, if you have watched my videos on uh, airdrops on Galaxy, you already know what to do. If you haven't, if this is the first one you watch, you just have to click on the link it will take you directly to the like page or the follow page and that's it. Now, uh, what's a little bit more complicated but in reality is pretty easy is to go to the, their Discord server and get verified. Now, going to the Discord server, you just have to click here and it will take you to the page, to the Discord server. So once you click there, it will take you here and I'm going to show you. This is where I am right now. This is their Discord page. I have already been verified, but I'm going to show you. As you can see, I can see a lot of channels here. The first time you enter the, their Discord server, you're not going to see uh, most of these links, most of these channels. You're going to be seeing uh, this check mark, though, which is called Verify. So you click here and then you go all the way down here and you click on this green check mark. Once you do so, uh, you will be verified in their Discord share server. And then now you will have that uh, you will earn this check mark on the Galaxy page. So um, all I have to do now is click on this cogwheels and hopefully I'm going to be getting those green check marks uh, because I have followed those instructions. So uh, apparently the Discord server thingy will take some time. Uh, it says it's real time, but I've been verified. So uh, maybe by the end of this video, we'll get that uh, green check mark. Um, then the next thing we need to do, let me close a window here. Let's click here, which says blast score space users. And then you have to click on detail. There's nothing clickable here, but if you go to detail, it will open a new page and then you will be taken here. Um, and what you need to do is click again in this call to action. So it's kind of messy. Always Galaxy is kind of messy, guys. Don't don't worry. I have that solutions for you. And that solution is just clicking on this call to action. It will open another page. And then all you have to do is click on this little plus sign follow. And that that's it. So we're going to be closing other web pages because they accumulate pretty soon. And let's go back to our main tasks. So we are back here. 
So we have done this, we should get the green thingy. Oh no, um, after this might be one of those hurdles, I will find the solution and I will let you know how I solve this. But so far we're getting all the other green check marks. Now, uh, the next task is visit the Blast Core Claim, Testnet, and Mint an NFT. So first thing is clicking on that link, going to continue to access, and it will verify if I'm human, I hope I am. And then I, it will ask me to connect the wallet. Because again, guys, uh, we need to mint an NFT and get some testnet tokens. So I'm going to connect my wallet now. And it's asking me to confirm the signature. Again, every time MetaMask opens a window, guys, read what you're being asked. Just don't click sign or yes or you know the, the blue button because you might be for some reason, redirected to a malicious website. And it might be asking you to transfer all your funds. So never click without reading what you're being asked. So in this case, Blast is asking me um, to sign, that's all. It says, welcome to Blast Core. Um, this will not trigger a blockchain transaction or cause any gas fees. So that's usually what signing means. Um, and then now I have connected my wallet and it says first you need to connect all social networks so that's another hurdle it might be related guys to this discord thing so i'm going to pause the video for a moment try to figure out what's going on and come back and let you know how i fix this okay guys i'm back and i have a solution for you so um you need to click on two different things first is when you get to the rules thingy you need to click on the green check mark, but then you will have to go to a verify. And it's it seems kind of obvious, but uh, it's not as clear. And you click on this green check mark again. So it's two green check marks. Once you do that, you can come back here, press on that cogwheel, and you will get your green um, check mark. So that's what we were looking for. And now I need to claim that the ETH, the testnet ETH, and mint the NFT. So I'm going to go back here and see if this will work. Uh, now it's still telling me I need to connect all social networks. So I'm going to figure out what this is about and come back again. So hold on a minute. Perfect, guys. I know how to fix this. So all you have to do is click on the upper right hamburger menu. You cannot see it because it's behind the logo. But you click on that menu and then you go to quests. Once you click on quests, you go down here to blast score. You're going to click here. And even though you have connected your socials on Galaxy, you will need to do that again on this page. So uh, all you have to do is go ahead and click on Connect Discord. It's going to open Discord and we're going to authorize. And now that is done. We're going to click here again, Connect Twitter. And oh, it's asking me for my username. So just one second, guys. So I've logged in and now all you have to do is click on Authorize App, which we are doing right now. It's going to be redirecting us over here. And again, you click on Blast Score. And now we can seemingly collect. So let's see. So even, even though you already followed Blast Score on the Discord server because you did that back when we were in the Galaxy page, you will need to click again in this uh, yellow arrows and then you will get this enabled so you can click on collect. So I'm gonna click on collect. Now I've got my XP for this task. Now, again, you click on this little yellow line and uh, let's see what we were requested to do. Follow last core Twitter account. So we are following them because we did that in the Galaxy page. So now I can collect over here and uh, we can do the same thing with the other two. Click on the yellow thingy it's asking us to like that post, which we already, well, this is another post, so we will just like it and collect. And finally, we have to like another Twitter post. So let's click here, like this one with a little heart and come back and collect. Now we've already done these tasks and uh, those tasks were only so we can get the testnet Sepolia ETH and to mint that uh, NFT. So this NFT is, guys, uh, this, like the ones we are uh, we've been mining or minting in the other airdrops. Um, they haven't announced officially uh, what you're gonna get by getting those NFTs, but a lot of projects, especially blockchains or L2s, are using those NFTs to see 
how active you are in that blockchain. Now, this is testnet, so it's not going to cost you anything. So it's worth to get this NFT minted. And uh, probably this is going to be released or airdrop uh, sometime between Q2 or Q3. So we will be uh, either on the halving of Bitcoin or a little bit later. So hopefully this will be as juicy as that last airdrop that we just see that we just saw. So now let's close this Windows again and the Discord server. And uh, yeah, the piece of news also we can go and click everything here. What we want to do is to be sent again to that uh, testnet mint and NFT page. As you can see, we have already been uh, allowed to get this testnet coins. So I already claim successfully this ETH. And now I'm being told insufficient funds to mint an NFT. Oh, guys, sometimes uh, this airdrop thingies are kind of illogical. So we will probably need to claim a little bit more ETH. Uh, so let me figure this out and I'll let you know how to fix this. Okay, this was an easy fix. All you have to do is reload the page. So I reloaded the page and now this uh, message, the red message that was here telling me that I didn't have enough ETH is gone and now can I, I can click on mint NFT. It's gonna open my uh, MetaMask wallet. It's gonna charge me $1.36 of fake uh, ETH and I'm gonna confirm. And again, it's fake ETH because it's testnet ETH. It didn't cost you anything. Now we have claimed this NFT and we can go back to the last page, click on the little gray, green cog wheel and see if it turns green. Yeah, perfect. So we have completed this uh, quest on Galaxy. Now, guys, I don't want to leave you here because there's a few more things we can do because we want to qualify. We want to get that second season airdrop. So I'm going to take you back to this page the one where we minted the NFT and complete those other quests because those are official quests, not on the Galaxy page, but on the Blast page, the ecosystem page. So let's complete those. I'm going to show you how to do that. And again, if I come into some hurdles, I'm going to go figure out how to fix them and come back and let you know. So let's continue. So we're back here, guys. And while the Blast Core uh, Galaxy quest is not time sensitive yet, at least at the, at the time of recording of this video. This other ones, as you can see, they have some, some of them are 11 days left, some are nine, day, nine days left. So um, hopefully you'll get to watch this video, but it doesn't mean if you miss one of this, uh, don't be too worried. I mean, there's continuous things, especially in a new blockchain, especially in one that has not released its mainnet like Blast. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna pick Blast Penguins, why not? I mean, we like penguins, those pudgy penguins uh, gave people a lot of profit. So uh, let's see if this is something that we can profit from. Again, we already know how to do this. We need to click on the green thing, I'm sorry, the yellow thingy. It's gonna take us here. We're gonna follow, come back here. Now we need to follow Blast Penguins on their Discord server. So it's gonna open the Discord server. We're gonna accept that invite and I'm, Discord is going to open and I'm going to click on join Blast Penguins. So I have joined and I'm going to click here on verify. And now I can see everything else. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to click on continue and continue. So it's reading those rules and there's a captcha. So it's telling me enter the green numbers. So I'm going to click on nine. In your case it might be a different set of numbers or a different captcha altogether. So, um, but we want to make sure we don't miss a step and miss that uh, green cogwheel. So I've been verified and I can come back here. And it didn't tell me I needed to be verified, but just to make sure guys. So I'm going to collect these two buttons because I don't want to, if you come back to this page later, you're going to have to do this test again. This is how it's programmed. So. Uh, while we're here, we, we want to make sure we collect them. Now we need to like Blast Penguins, um, their Twitter posts. So we're going to click on the thingy and click on the heart. And we have liked this and you can collect, but let's, let's do two by two. So click here. We already like this one, so we can collect both. 
collect here and collect the one below and we are set there is a playable reward i don't know what this is guys uh test not complete so let's try it again so probably it's a retweet okay yes it's a retweet so um when i click on this button here repost i mean you could you could add your quote but it's not required so i have reposted this and now i'm going to click on collect and it's still not happy so let's see maybe we need to wait a little a little bit until this is available so i'm going to click on collect again if not i'm going to refresh this page and try yeah so we got the the green well in this case the yellow check marks which is what we want I don't know if we're going to be winners. I don't know what this is about. I don't have time to explore this because I don't want to make this video too long. So let's go back to the quest page. So the, the menu, we click on the menu and we see what, what else is here. So we have completed this too. Let's go to one of the ones that have nine days left. And let's see, this is just social thingies. So click on the, on the yellow thing. We're going to follow Natrium. If you are curious, this is a next gen permissionless primitive money market. I don't know what's a primitive money market. Maybe some cavemen <laughs> will be able to access those. But I'm going to click on collect. I'm going to like their Twitter post. So click here and click on the heart thingy. And we're done. Collect. And finally, we're going to have to retweet that Twitter post. So again, we click here and we're going to click on the retweet and repost so that's it so let's click on collect by the way guys uh, i'm gonna leave my twitter um, link if you want to follow me over there i haven't been publishing a lot but i might start doing because most people try to find opportunities quickly and sometimes twitter is a good way to find about those so uh so far i've been active on youtube but i i believe i'm going to be starting uh, to publish content on Twitter. So go ahead and, and follow me over in Twitter. So we have finished this and let's go back to the quest pages. And we are back here. Let's click on the other one that has nine days left. Hopefully you will be able to complete them. But as you can see, guys, this is quick, very easy. The only thing that is a little bit more complicated is when do you need to verify the Discord server thingy. Uh, in the case of the one we just verified two steps uh, you know, ago, we needed to do it twice. So those are the little hurdles that I'm hope I'm hoping I'm, I'm trying to help you fix. And again, if this is helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So let's continue. We're gonna like that post and I'm, I'm gonna be abbreviating this a little bit unless I find something complicated because I don't wanna make this video about clicking. So I'm gonna pause this video and once I have collected everything, I'm gonna continue. So you can do that on your time and not have to watch a very long video. Okay, two things that are interesting that I wanted to point out. When you click on retweet the uh, rogue Twitter's Twitter posts, uh, it's a post that is telling you that you will get some testnet. By doing this, you will get some testnet tokens of this project. But once it launches, they will swap them for real tokens. So that by just doing this, you're already getting an airdrop and that's really cool. The next thing I want to point out is, again, when you follow their Discord server, make sure, I mean, I, I am here again, uh, but I'm, I'm not being told in that quest page that I need to verify, but make sure you get verified. It doesn't hurt, guys, because you don't want to, you know, close this page and then have to come back. You know, it's just one simple step and uh, now I can collect. And finally, perform a swap on Rogex. So we're going to figure that what this is. Uh, first, we're going to be collecting. Let's see if we can click the three at the same time. And apparently, yeah. So now let's going to perform a swap on Rogex. And let's see what this is about. Again, this is probably testnet. So um, it would not cost anything. So I'm going to click on MetaMask, which is what I'm using for the airdrops. Again, um, not again. There is an airdrop if you're using Rabbi or Rabbi wallet, and I'm going to make a video about that, and I'm going to publish it probably tomorrow. Uh, and I love that wallet. It's, it's great. I'm just connecting to MetaMask. Uh, but MetaMask is the easier one, the one that is most accepted by all these 
um, protocols. So I'm going to swap part of my ETH, my testnet ETH, to something else. So probably you know for Blast. I'm not going to swap everything because I don't know if I'm going to need some more ETH in another quest. So zero zero three zero. So I have point two zeros one. I'm going to swap point three zeros one. And um, yeah, so swap. If you switch, if you swap every token you have for Blast or for any other token, then you will not have uh, testnet ETH, and you will need to figure out how to get more uh, testnet ETH. And this is not available on this quest page. So make sure you you don't swap everything you have list of ETH. So I'm um, running to another hurdle. I'm going to pause the video again and let you know what happened. Okay, I was told that I don't have enough testnet ETH to complete this transaction. So we probably need to add another zero here and see if that fixes things. Um, you know, hopefully there will be a wrap. Yeah, there's a wrap ETH. So this might be better. So let's click on wrap. And hopefully this will qualify for that quest. And apparently MetaMask love this. And I'm not swapping everything. I haven't gotten confirmations yet, but so far so good. And I have a suspicion that I can collect now, even though the, the transaction has not been completed. Yeah, so wrapped. I have wrapped everything. And now, you know, just for the sake of keeping things tidy, I'm gonna unwrap my WETH because probably I'm gonna need those for another uh, one of those quests. So I'm gonna unwrap click on confirm, it's going to cost me a little bit of gas. But this is a fake ETH. So don't worry if you are, um, I'm going to click on confirm if you are, you feel you're spending money, it's not real money, it's not going to use your real ETH. So yeah, it's waiting for this to complete. Unwrap failed. And it's not telling me why. So um, we're going to you know, leave that on the side and we're going to figure out. So let's reload this page and see if this allows us to collect. Click on the yellow thingy, come back here and see if we can collect. Apparently it was waiting for the confirmation of that transaction, which we have already completed. And let's see if wrapping it will qualify for this task. So I'm going to pause the video again and figure this out and let you know if that worked. Okay, guys, I figure it out. It's a matter of two issues. One is there is not enough liquidity for some of those tokens we are going to be swapping in Rogex. So not all of those tokens we want to swap for are available. So I click on a number of them and USDC was available. And once I was trying to swap those tokens, it told me that I didn't have enough testnet ETH to do that transaction. So you can go fetch. So if you want to get more testnet ETH directly on that first page where we got it, that's not available to do again. So I found this other page where you can claim uh, some more testnet Sepolia. So I'm going to click, I just enter my address. I'm going to click here on claim and we are going to get, oh, this is base, not blast. So let me find out some somewhere else to get this testnet tokens. Okay, guys, I figured this one out and it was not as easy, but I have a solution for you. So remember, we just uh, used that faucet to get that testnet ETH. Now, I came into this documentation because that was on uh, the official Sepolia uh, chain and um, I was figuring out if I could bridge it to Blast and there is a way to do that uh, but the way they are providing is basically you need to program uh, and that's not good so I started looking for bridges official bridges and uh, apparently Orbiter Finance used to have a bridge they no longer do so this is another faucet but if you click on connect wallet nothing will happen this this was the official faucet for um, all the blast related tasks so we're just going to close this one and the one that uh, I will, i've been talking to you about this bridge owl 2 is um the one that will allow you to bridge from the regular eth sepolia or any other sepolia testnet like um girly blast sepolia so you can figure out any faucet you find uh send it to any of this so i have 
blasts on the regular Ethereum Sepolia testnet. And now I can bridge part of that. So I'm gonna bridge 0 point, say 0 0.1, that should be enough. So I'm gonna send it to Blast Sepolia. And confirm and send. This is again all going to be fake money. Confirm. And I'm gonna wait for this. Now, while we're here on Owl 2, guys, don't forget to click on this calendar. I mean, we should remember every day to do this because you keep accruing points and it just costs you a little bit of gas. But once they decide to launch their airdrop, the more points you have accrued, then the more of that airdrop you're gonna be getting. So I'm being asked to confirm, I'm gonna be confirming and I'm gonna get this check in. So in January, I missed a lot of days. The thing about OWL too is if you do, you have a streak of a number of days, every day you're gonna be getting more points. So, I mean, at a reminder, I should be doing that. So this has still, okay, it just bridged to Blast Sepolia. So we have fixed it. Now, remember we bridge it to uh, base. So that will not be good. So we need to figure out a way to find a blast um, faucet that will bridge to the regular ETH. So I'm gonna find that and I'm gonna place a link on the description of this video. And this is that page. Again, the, the link will be in the description of this video. So you just enter your address. You make sure that you tell them that you're not a robot click on whatever you are required to do and click on send me ETH. It will send you 0 0.5 more ETH. So that's the way I got the first 0 0.5 that you saw in that bridge. So once you have done that, you can come back here to Rogue X. We're gonna refresh that page and hopefully we will be seeing those ETH. It tells me wrong network, so I'm gonna switch network back to Blast Testnet, switch network and let's see if we can see how many. There we go. We have the 0 0.1 we just transfer, and we're gonna be swapping for USDC was the easiest one. So I'm gonna play 0 0.0001. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, there's enough liquidity at the time of recording of this video. If when you're doing this, you're attempting this, it tells you that there's not enough liquidity, just go ahead and choose one of the other tokens and hopefully you will be able to complete this task. Uh, we have submitted this swap and we're just gonna be waiting for it to complete. Okay, so it's done. We have continue finished this. And let's go back here to that quest and see if we can get that thingy here. So we just click, come back here, collect, and hopefully we will be able to do so. While this happens, guys, let's go back to the Galaxy page because we have not claimed this NFT and the 30 points. So uh, again, back to the first part where we were clicking on this task and click claim and get those 30 points. So it should be just a matter of waiting. It's gonna ask me for confirmation. It's gonna be asking me for almost zero cents of a dollar to complete this. And now I have submitted this transaction and I will have gotten that NFT, which is on the, hopefully, in the Blasipolia testnet, and those points that will qualify me for this airdrop. Now, for some reason, this is not happening yet. And we have done that swap, so it might take them a little bit of a while to verify. So we're gonna go back here and click on quests and complete just another one, and then we'll come back to this other one. So there's one on Rogex. We're gonna click here. We're gonna just do the Twitter thing. I'm gonna pause the video so we don't spend a lot of time here. You know what, guys? We just did the Rogex. That's the one that's pending. So let's click um, the, any, you know, ETX. Hopefully this is as easy as ETX. We're gonna click on the yellow thingy, the button, and just, <laughs> okay. We're gonna heart this and uh, collect um, there's just Twitter thingy, so I'm gonna just put a pause the video and when I'm done, I'm gonna tell you if there was some complication. Okay guys, this is pretty easy and there is a $500 gift if uh, you are assigned 
or win this lottery. So that's already nice. And this final one, it says easy Twitter subscription. So all you have to do is follow. It's not a subscription, just follow. Um, I don't know why they named this. So we already have this uh, yellow check marks and we are participating in this $500 airdrop. So um, let's hope we, you know, someone in the channel wins this $500. So let's go back to the quests and finish. I think there's one remaining and this one that is still pending. So it's going to be all spark and is follow them on Twitter, the Discord server and mint an NFT. So this is a little bit more involved than the other ones, but it's not too complicated. So we're going to follow them and claim this and follow their Discord server. Again, guys, we're, we're not just going to join their Discord server. We are going to get verified. So let's click here and see where we can verify. Um, so click on the V, we're gonna click on the V and now we have been verified. As you can see, we can see all this now. And at some point guys, your Discord server is gonna be start populating uh, with a lot of things. So what you can do is group some of this uh, channels because it's gonna be too much. So I'm gonna you know, bring these icons together and all of these are gonna be the blast Discord servers, all Spark. Yeah, this was part of this. Um, as you can see, I have other Discord servers grouped here, so I'm gonna just move them up. And once you're done, if you wanna keep following with some of this, then you're welcome to do so. But then you can just delete, because otherwise you're gonna have hundreds of Discord servers. So that's just an easy tip for you. And let's continue. So we're gonna collect here, and we need to complete the campaign and mint an NFT. So let's see what this is about. It's gonna be opening a Galaxy page. Okay, nice. Um, we're just gonna be following, clicking on this little thingies, retweet the tweet. So I'm just gonna retweet. You're not seeing this because it's opening a different window. And I'm gonna pause the video when I'm done with the, okay, just one more Twitter thingy. So like the tweet, I'm gonna click on like, Done. Now we need to mint faucet on testnet. Mint faucet, that's a weird way to word this, but just we're just gonna click here and see what this is about. And apparently we're gonna be minting some more testnet ETH. Here we go, faucet. It's gonna ask us to switch network. Um, connect it with MetaMask, okay. Let's see. Let's mint. And hopefully this is gonna be testnet. It's not testnet, but it's only 18 cents of a dollar. So it's not bad. So we have successfully minted this. And let's go back here. Visit the official website. Let's do that now. Click on continue to access. And it doesn't mean you need to read the entire thing as long as you just enter this. I mean, you could click on launch and uh, you can join to early access and maybe by doing this, you qualify for this other airdrop. So why not guys? Now that we're here, let's do that, okay? I hope you are in with me. If you wanna skip this, you're welcome to do so. But the more chances we get at receiving a juicier airdrop, the happier I am. So we need to enter an invite code and we have to figure out where to get that from. So I'm gonna pause this video and see if it is available somewhere. So I Googled and I found a code. If I'm allowed to uh, provide a code, I will put it on the description of this video. If not, then you just have to Google it and you will probably find one. Register your account. So we're gonna click on register. I, I don't know why I did, but I just got a check mark, so that's nice. Uh, we need to claim an NFT, so we're gonna click here and nothing is happening. And I have an invitation code for you, so you're reading it here at B2646424. So all you have to do is use that when you click on the enter invite code and you will be granted access, so you no longer have to Google it. Um, I don't know how many of these will be available. So if I were you, I would try this as soon as possible. So I'm gonna figure out what's going on with this NFT thing and come back to the video in a moment. 
Okay, if we click on this link, it will tell, take us back to this uh, quest. So let's claim the green cogwheels and see if we get our check marks. Mint faucet on testnet. Let's see if we get that one. Yes. Have the verified role. So again, that's why we always verify it before we need to come back here and retweet the tweet. We haven't done this, so we're going to click here and just repost. And that's it. And get our green check mark. And I would imagine that once I've gotten this and I have claimed, so here's the claim NFT. So click here, claim your NFT and your points. And we're probably going to be, well, I'm going to be having to pay some gas, which is like a hundredth of one cent of a dollar. So this has been submitted. So let's go back here, check NFT. And I've earned 2000 points. I don't know what those are good for, but there, there we go. So, and I'm just going to click and copy the link. And I'm going to paste that in the description of this video in case you missed reading this on the, uh, you know, on the, your cell phone page. Sorry, it's too late, guys. It's already 11 p.m. So it's not a cell phone page, just in, in your YouTube um, screen. So we have done this. We have done this. And um, so let's reload the Galaxy page. So this one has been completed. We still have one pending thing. So in this video, guys, we have uh, qualified for a ton of airdrops. And uh, this is fantastic. Now we're going to come back here to AllSpark Finance and click on Collect. That's all that was needed, and see if we are going to be getting that yellow check mark, which we should, because we have done everything they requested. Um, and let's see. So there was one more thing that was left, which is that transaction, that that swap. So let's open the Quest page while this other thing is fulfilled. And let's see if the thing that was pending is completed. I don't know why it's not updating that swap. As you have seen in this video, we already finished that swap. Um, let's click on collect again. And it doesn't tell us what we need to swap for, but just to make sure guys, let's swap. I mean, we have a lot of testnet ETH so let's swap it for BLAST and see if this protocol loves that more than swapping for ETH or USDC. 0 0.001. There's not enough liquidity. Yeah, we got that liquidity. So let's swap. Confirm swap. We're going to be paying some fake gas. So it's opening my MetaMask. It's $4.44. Fake cents. Fake dollars. And once this is completed, we're going to click on that cogwheel and we're going to see if we are going to be getting that swap verified. So it's been swapped. So we have done two swaps already, one for glass and the other for USDC and one wrapping. So again, that's already three swaps and I hope this will be checkmarked soon. We're going to come back here and though we have completed the AllSpark campaign and minted that NFT for some reason, we cannot click on collect. So I'm going to try to get in touch with uh, these guys and see if they have some information because I've done, I've ex exhausted everything I can figure, you know, I can think about to fix this. And if I have a solution, I will uh, write it in the comment section. Um, but if you are lucky enough, you might be able to get these things uh, checkmarked. So, um, yeah, let me pause this video and wait a little bit and see if one of those two are checkmarked and uh, we have participated, I think it's six or seven airdrop uh, quests. 30 minutes in this. Um, even though we have completed this, uh, the thing to note is that this quest ended on the 31st of January. So um, we got the, the NFT and we got all the OAT points. However, and you know, this is nice that we got in, even if this was after the expiration of that quest. However, on this page, we will not be able to click on collect because um, that already expired. The thing that I'm still not understanding, and again, if I get an answer, I will put it on the comment section, is why this swap has not been greenlit. But um, don't worry, guys. The, the main thing that we were trying to qualify 
was for that other NFT and we have already gotten that. Everything else is cherry on top of the cake or icing as some people say. So um, we have tried to qualify for six different quests. Now, um, actually seven different quests. The one that was actually two on the Galaxy Quest page and six on that blast page. So that's eight <laughs> airdrops in total. I mean, some of them work like raffles. Some of them will drop to whoever finished those tasks. So I think in this 40 minutes, we were able to qualify for a lot of airdrops and hopefully we will get a, a good number of them and they will be juicy and we will be getting a lot of money out of this uh, work. So I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this video, to this channel, because we keep doing airdrop tutorials. We are talking about crypto gems and how to make profits in crypto in general. So hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.